Hey everyone, this is uh, Karaoke Freak, also known as Retropolis on YouTube, and uh, what I have here is my brand new lightsaber, the newest in my collection, which is the Archon version 2.1. I chose this because it has a close resemblance to uh, Luke Skywalker's very personal lightsaber from Episode 6. As you can see here, all it's missing is um, the activation box from the original, but other than that, it looks very much like the one from the movies, from that one movie actually, from episode 6. And um, I'm showing you this because, um, well, it's not only the newest, it's also the most sophisticated um, saber in my collection, because this is from a brand new series called The Diamond Saber. What is a diamond saber, you might ask? Well, um, it is um, very much like an emerald saber from ultrasabers.com. Now you ask, who? Oh, Dennis, what's an ultra? Uh, what's a what's an emerald saber? Okay, I'll try to make it short. Ult uh, ultra sabers has several kinds of um, lightsabers. Most of them come with one blade color. However, emerald sabers and diamond sabers come with any color you like. You can actually change colors because. Um, the board does not only provide sound, the, the board inside the hilt, but it also provides several um, memory spaces where you can save certain um, additions, you could say, of the blade. You can, first of all, you can decide which color you want, and second, which um, sound font you want to combine with the color. So this one has 10 memory slots, the diamond saber here it has 10 memory slots and um, you can pick any color from 16.7 million colors and combine it with a sound and have it saved on one of these 10 slots so what i can have is green color red color white color whatever with a uh, specific sound that i that i choose like um the sith saber the standard saber uh, the sabers from episode one whatever um, I will show you this once I darken the room here so you can see the blade better, but um, I just wanted to show you the basic hilt and everything because it's very, very nice. Once again, it's greatly crafted by the guys at uh, ultrasabers.com. Uh, it's turned aluminum, it's um, very, very lightweight, and what I really like about this saber compared to the old ones that I had is that this... Uh, has a better grip, you know, this is a man saber, damn it, it is. Uh, it's very thick, it's uh, very stable, It's um, you can take it with two hands, you can also fight with one hand, and um, it's um, the, the weight and balance is much better than with the old sabers that I showed you, especially with this one. This was a um, Apprentice LE4, it's also a very nice saber. I, I, can, I can recommend it definitely for everyone, especially for, for beginners. But um, as you can see here, the, the balance is somewhere, the balance point is somewhere at the, um, at the beginning of the blade, somewhere where, where, the, where the blade begins. Yeah. So just kind of kind of like here. And um, the hilt, of the Archon version 2.1 is much heavier and so um, the balance is yeah actually here this is where I'm holding it and um, it's much better for fighting you can really feel it because the the, uh, the hilt is much heavier and uh, as I said before it's much thicker and um, it has more of a grip to it and of course it looks like <laughs> a saber from the movies so all in all in all this is definitely the better saber of those two and um, yeah I'm very very satisfied with it because the quality is really high okay um, I will darken the room right now and then I will show you what this saber can do hang on a second yeah Okay, here we have the saber itself. The full lighting in uh, green. And you might recognize a, uh, a certain flicker that I have here. This is not standard with this uh, saber. This is something that I made. 
because you can edit uh, how the how the blade glows. Um, you can do that through a program which is called the Ultra Sabers Launcher, and the Diamond Saber version of it has a special program for effects that where you can make your own effects. Actually, I could make this blade change color all the time because um, you can directly control how the four LEDs in this hilt um, how they react. And what I did here is I took the basic green and um, I raised the white value um, the, the white value um, every whatsoever milliseconds so that it has this um, flicker to it. Looks very nice and has like the this flickering effect from the movies. So, well, this uh, is of course very much what you can do also with the uh, with the emerald saber, but the um, diamond saber has a very specific advantage. It reacts to gestures. You can actually save certain movements, which will trigger a certain reaction on the blade like changing color. Uh, actually, <laughs> the menu of this saber is already um, triggered by movement. I, when, once I um, hold the button here and turn this hilt clockwise twice, I can access the menu. Just hold on, I'll show you. Welcome to the timing controller configuration menu. Rotate the saber clockwise to change the current font or counterclockwise to program a new gesture. To exit this menu, press and hold the switch for three seconds. Rotate the saber clockwise to change the next. So this is the way I can change the colors. Actually, where how I cycle through um, the save states to, through the um, through the slots, which um, contain a color and a certain sound font, which you can combine them as you like through the program that Ultra Sabers provides. Black Star. This is the Sith version and I'll activate that. Font selection is confirmed. And now I have a red saber with a certain Sith saber sound font. Yeah. I'll show you another one. Welcome to the timing controller configuration menu. Rotate, rotate the saber clockwise to change to the next font or ancient saber. Ancient saber. Episode one. Episode one. Which is blue, normal blue. I can show Our you. Selection is confirmed. Yeah. A very nice blue here. Wait. Ta da. Yep. And um, you might hear it. It also has a different sound font than the saber, the, the saber setting that it, uh, I chose before. Welcome to the Diamond Controller Configuration Menu. Rotate the saber clockwise to change the current font. Rotate the saber clockwise. Episode 1. Episode 2. This is Arctic Blue, as I remember. It's a little lighter blue. Oh, come on. Next, episode 4. Episode 4. Episode 5. Episode 5. I think this is the purple one from Mace Window. Just uh, hang on a second, I'll try that out. Font selection is confirmed. Yep. This is uh, purple. Yep. And it has a very specific sound to it. Oh, that was my lamp. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, as always, this also has flash on clash, so once I hit something, it will light up. 
So this is the sound that it just had. And once you press the button, it has like a saber clash effect, so uh, you can have it light up long for a longer time when you hit another uh, blade or whatever. Yeah, that's what it, this was. In case you don't, you didn't know. Welcome to the timing controller configuration menu. Rotate the saber clockwise to change the current font, or counterclockwise to program a new gesture. Rotate the saber. Episode five. Episode 5. Episode 6. This would be a normal green color. Font selection is confirmed. Yeah, this is just standard green without a flicker. So you see, this is the one that comes with it, and um, once I change it back to the standard setting, you will see that there is a flickering uh, a note to it that I programmed. Welcome to the Diamond Controller configuration menu. Rotate, rotate the saber clockwise. <laughs> this is a silent setting, actually a white blade without sound. And this is a standard setting. Font selection is confirmed. Yeah, and here you see, this is um, my flickering blade again. So. You already see the normal menu is done by uh, gestures, but you can also program five specific gestures. You can do whatever you want. You can do like a, a twirl or whatever. Whatever you want to do, um, you can have as a trigger that for a certain effect, especially for, for color changing. And um, I, 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 I don't know exactly which, um, which one it was. I will try a, a certain gesture, which is also a turn. And I really hope that I get it triggered right, because then you can see a certain color change and a certain effect. And was it this way? Ah, there we have it. Now, I really didn't uh, uh, recognize it. I, actually, I programmed it this way that it, I had to turn the... Um, I had to turn and twist this. So now you see, you have... Exactly, now you have this um, color change from red to white. And this is all just triggered by a certain movement. Yeah. So, um, this is what you can do with a diamond saber. And actually, there's lots more you can do, um, especially through that program. And uh, I really love it because it makes it a very versatile uh, saber. Much more that you can do with than uh, with a normal lightsaber like this one which is also very nice <laughs> but it doesn't even come close to the quality that a diamond saber has <laughs> as you saw um, once it triggered the flash on clash feature this returned to the original setting This is uh, all I can say about the uh, Diamond Saber. I hope you enjoyed this video and especially um, enjoyed what I had to say about this Saber. As I said before, it's very good quality as always from, um, from Ultra Sabers. The great uh, hilt quality and very good blades which also can take a hit. And um, yeah, I'm very satisfied with, uh, with what I got here. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and might get a saber yourself. See you next time.